Hi everyone, I'm Dan from Dan Aesthetics at 3rd Avenue Spa. Today we are talking about part two of our Hyaluronidase video sessions. This is the big one. This is what to do in emergency situations. Take out your pens and papers, jot some info down because this is going to be a learning experience. So a quick recap with hyaluronidase. In the States, there are two different types, hyaluronidase vitrase and hyaluronidase hyalinex. Vitrase is just the ovine or sheep based and the hyalinex is the human uh, recombinant based. Basically, they're the same. Uh, they're slightly higher risk with the sheep uh, base with regards to side effects, but both are less than one in a thousand. What is hyaluronidase and what does it do? Well, it's a protein enzyme that breaks down hyaluronic acid. Why is that important? Well, whenever we're doing any type of filler, the risk, the major risk is blocking an artery with filler. This is why everyone needs to have an advanced anatomy course, a cadaver course, as many as possible until you feel comfortable um, with the areas of your arteries, your major arteries, and including the depths. Let's say someone has occluded an artery, unfortunately. Well, what happens is the area that's perfused or the, the surrounding area where that artery is supposed to be providing circulation ends up not getting its vital nutrients. So it ends up starting to die off slowly. And what we can do is we end up providing hyaluronidase around the area of concern. And the chances of you directly injecting filler into an artery are very slim, probably like a one in a hundred thousand. So the chances of going back into that same artery with um, the dissolver such as hyaluronidase are much less than one in a million. So the beauty of hyaluronidase is that all we have to do is put the product around the vessel and it'll penetrate through and dissolve the filler. So the first question is how much product do you use? Do you use 100 units? Do you use 500 units? 5,000 units? Uh, 10,000 units? Do you use the whole bottle? Well, let's take a peek here. This is Sarah. This is my model. My famous model is always with me. And she's had multiple areas of concern here. Now, if a patient starts having an issue around this size, this is going to warrant about 500 units. And if it connects to the nose or if it connects down here, then this is going to warrant about a thousand units. And if all three are connected, then it's 1500 units. But 1500 units is usually your max dose for a single injection. And if you're using a higher linked, like a Vicross product or anything that has a high, high G prime, is very thick, you're still going to use the same reference guide with regards to your initiation of treatment. It's always going to be the same amount per area. It's just that you may need to require repeated doses. It's going to degrade the natural hyaluronic acid. Yes, it does restore itself, but whenever you flood the entire face with it, then it can take several weeks, sometimes up to a month, for it to kind of fully restore. Yeah, you'll save the patient, but they're going to be pretty upset with you because they're going to like completely deflate it on the one side. The beauty of having a set amount, it's going to save you in case you need to use more product after because there's a good chance that you're going to have to repeat these steps later on and we're going to get into that um, soon. Our vial is 150 units per mil and we need 500 units. So what do we do? We drop four milliliters of uh, hyaluronidase and we also mix one milliliter with that with lidocaine. The reason why is because this stuff burns, so lidocaine is going to help numb the area, and at the same time, lidocaine is also acts secondary as a vasodilator. The next question I'll ask is at what depth? Well, the beauty of looking at all the research is showing that most of these cases are happening at the dermal fat junction. So let's say if this is your artery, it's not going to happen at the widest part of the artery. It always kind of circulates. The blockage ends up happening usually around the surface, which is the dermal fat junction. So you're gonna be in doing, introducing this product around the subcutaneous region. Next question, what size needle? Are you gonna use a small needle, large needle, small cannula, large cannula? Now I guess the answer to that question is going to be based on what are you seeing on the face? The face already has this levito reticularis here, which is kind of like purplish. So you want to avoid bruising. You actually want to see this start clearing up. 
So in theory, the safest thing you can do if you have it, um, you'll end up taking a cannula, a large cannula, probably like a 25 gauge, go to the side and you're going to start fanning and spreading the product. Now, if you don't have a cannula, anything is going to suffice. So you've completed the appropriate series of steps and as you're injecting the hyaluronidase, you're taking a look at her face and you're noticing, wow, there's a dramatic improvement here. You're starting to see a clearing up of the levito reticularis. However, you're still seeing some residual effects. There's still some pink, there's still some purple. It's not completely gone. What do you do? Do you watch and wait? Do you give more? And how often and at what dose? Well, the answer lies in the half-life of the hyaluronidase. The half-life is anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So that's when you will re-inject until this is completely resolved. So you're gonna give the exact same amount and then do it four times max. At that point, it's safe to say that this should be completely clear. The product's gonna continue working and then you can follow up with the patient the next day. Now lastly, if any patient develops any visual disturbance whatsoever, they need to get themselves to the emergency within 90 minutes. It's going to give themselves the best fighting chance for an ophthalmologist to inject hyaluronidase into the back of the eye in order to preserve that vision. All right, now I know that this video was a little intense, but to be honest, it was to provide levity and relieve a little anxiety to providers and also the general public. It's to provide knowledge that we have fillers that are hyaluronic acid based and we have a complete reversal system. We have hyaluronidase, an amazing medication out there that completely reverses medical complications. I mean, if we can address these complications within four hours, then we're giving ourselves over 98 to 99% chance of a complete resolution. Take care of yourselves, exercise daily, and please be nice to absolutely everyone. All the best.